And Ryan's back with more research methods. I'm sure you're excited to hear about the alternating treatment design. <laughs> That's really what it's like. You just go rapid succession of alternating treatments. You have multiple, and I'm getting confused, and there's too many words in my head, and they're all popping out. That's what happens on a radio when you turn the volume down, don't power it off. Um, anyway, so let's go back to an alternating treatment design. An experimental design in which two or more conditions are rapidly alternated. All right? independent of the level of responding. An example of an alternating treatment design would be something that I actually did in class one time, which is where I would have one week where the students were required to answer some questions online, and the next week they were not, and then the week after they were, and then the week after they were not, and the week after they were, and the week after they were not. And what did I do? I compared their test scores overall to see which one of those conditions produced better learning on their tests. And you'll have to read the article to find the answer. <laughs>